Hey everyone, I'm Mia, and today let's shed a little light on how to shoot video in the dark. Camcorders with night vision pick up infrared light. Infrared light, or IR, is not visible to the naked eye, but it will illuminate a subject in the dark, and with the right camcorder, you can capture great footage. Whether you're observing nocturnal wildlife, doing surveillance, or hunting ghosts, night vision camcorders coupled with IR illuminators will help you capture clear nighttime footage. Sony's night shot mode is a classic example of night vision videography. It captures infrared light by removing the filter from in front of the sensor that cuts out near infrared light frequencies. I'll be using the Sony PJ760V Handycam and the more professional NX Cam HXR NX70 to illustrate this. Now these camcorders have dedicated night shot buttons and a small built-in IR illuminator. Unlike the quick autofocus you get in bright sunlight, in night shot mode, it'll take a few seconds for the camcorder to refocus every time you change your shot or use the zoom. The built-in IR illuminator will help if you're working with an object at close range and if you have a small amount of ambient light, like bright moonlight or if you're shooting at twilight. The range of the built-in IR falls somewhere between 3 and 5 feet. Now that's probably not going to work if you're hoping to stay hidden to catch a shy night dweller. So the best way to expand your view is to add infrared light. One practical way to do that is with an IR illuminator that attaches to your camcorder like this SEMA SL100 IR. These LED lights can either attach to an accessory shoe or you can use the included tripod mount. We brought our Sony camcorders and IR illuminators out to the Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. It's a sanctuary for abused and abandoned cats, and these animals are most active at night, so we thought it'd be a great place to test out our night vision equipment. In the field, I found that the SEMA IR illuminator casts a nocturnal glow up to around 75 feet if you're working in complete darkness. So this light would be a must-have if you're shooting from a distance, especially for wild animals like this. And if your subject is over 50 feet away, I would suggest taking advantage of the interlocking design of these IR squares to build yourself a small grid to increase brightness. They're very lightweight and make a perfect accessory for a handy cam like this PJ760V. Even with three attached lights, the camera didn't feel awkward. Now, if you're working with a heavier, more professional camera like the NX70 here, think about investing in an IR panel like this light panel Mini Plus IR. This panel gives you complete control over your IR light source with a dimmer. It's made to work in complete darkness, and you can work the dimmer's brightness from 0 to 100% depending on how much light you need. This allows you to work in various levels of low light and darkness, and all you have to do is twist a knob on the panel to brighten your footage. Now, this IR light panel will tap into your camera's power or you can use the battery pack that's included in some kits. The battery pack will last over two hours fully charged, but I have to warn you that it will make the camera a little top heavy. It's awkward for handheld shooting and it's better to keep the camera on a tripod when using the battery pack. I found this convenient color-coded fuel gauge on the back that lets you know how much battery you have left. This particular one light kit also comes with an IR gel, mini ball mount so you can position the panel in any direction, and you also have the option of ordering just the light on its own. You can choose a Mini Plus IR with a XLR connection, power tap, or a 100 to 240 V AC power supply cord. Now, both of these infrared light options use convenient heat-free LED technology, so they're cool to the touch, and the LED lamps have a life of 50,000 plus hours. The SEMA IR lights are a much more affordable option, and their illumination distance is roughly the same as the light panel, but the SEMAs won't last as long on a full charge, and you can't control the brightness of the light. The truth is, if you're working in the dark with night vision equipment, you're tempted to keep it on all the time so you can see your surroundings, but that'll drain your batteries quick, cutting your night shoot short. If you plan to shoot for several hours in the dark, either bring extra batteries or try a night vision monocular. I'm using the Bushnell Night Vision 5X42 Stealth View Monocular. Once you follow the manual's directions and set the focus correctly, it can be your night eyes for up to 600 feet. If you have ambient light from street lights or headlights, then the IR beam won't make a big difference. But the darker your environment gets, the more vital the extra IR illuminator will become. The IR illuminator sends out a beam that looks like a spotlight, making it easy to spot your subject first, then you can turn on all your camera gear. 
I found the black and white screen in the viewfinder easy to see, and you can even adjust the brightness of the screen depending on whether you're working at twilight or in total darkness. Now this is a Gen 1 monocular, meaning it employs slightly older technology, so the image may not be quite as clean as an image from a Gen 2 or 3, but you shouldn't have a problem making out your subject. And the distance was fantastic. The steadier you can keep the monocular, the better. The image tends to blur if you move, so I would suggest mounting it to a separate tripod or monopod if possible. The monocular also has a video output with a mini pin adapter that allows you to connect to a composite RCA video cable. If you then connect the RCA cable to a monitor or a camcorder with a corresponding video input, you'll be able to view or record what you see in the monocular. Now all you creatures of the night should have a sense of what you need to shoot in the dark, but if you don't have a camera that can capture infrared light, then keep to the lights. I'm Mia McCormick. Thanks for stopping by. For more information, please visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. You can also connect with us on the web.